welcome back to Budget Bites. I'm your host, Sam Sobchek, and this month, we traveled all the way down to Evanston, Illinois, founded in 1854. We're here at Northwestern University, one of the top private schools in North America. Northwestern Bruce Evanston in 1870, where it has now become the heart of the town. So look, we have $30 for three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, let's go see what we can do. Here we are at Great Harvest Bread Company, a local favorite for breads and pastries. It was founded in 1976 in Great Falls, Montana, but moved here around the 80s. And it's been serving this place ever since. Let's head inside. We just got out. I got the Wildcat Scone, which is sponsored after Northwestern University, a local university for Evanston, Illinois. Um, this one was $3.50, and it's the best one I've ever had in my life. Every time I come here, I always get it. It's a classic for them. So let's dig in and see how it tastes. You see this? It's got blueberries in it, and icing. You see these little orange specks? Those are orange peels. Orange zesty, it's, like, it's part of the orange. So I guess they're really like zesty and little like, nice bitter flavor to contrast the sweetness of the icing and the blueberries. They do just a great job of contrasting flavors so that you can want too much of one thing. The texture in it is not doughy at all. It's nice and flaky and delicious. Like this is my favorite school I ever have. Starbucks, any place like that, they can't catch up to this. So if I'm, if I'm in the area, I'm coming here to get my Wildcat scone. Man, that scone was way too much to handle. So I'm going to put that in the bag and save it for later. So. That's close up here. I am definitely coming back. It was a great scone, great people, great price. So let's head to our next destination. We're on our way to the Painted Rocks, which is right on the lake shore, right next to Northwestern's campus. Um, you know, it's a great place to Hang out with your friends, watch the sunset on the lake, take some cool Instagram pictures, and um, or if you want to also, you can, you can paint a rock. Michigan is one of the cleanest lakes in the country. And that's all thanks to the reverse osmosis of the Chicago River. Thank you, Chicago. We're here on the Northwestern campus on the Painted Rocks. These rocks were put here in 1962 from quarries all across Illinois, Indiana to prevent the erosion of the lakeshore. Ever since then, campus students have been coming here to make this area look better. Wow, that was a beautiful walk on the beach. Had fun hanging on the rocks, looking at the water. But now I'm hungry for lunch, so let's head over to Mustard to go get some hot dogs. last stand for our lunch today. Buster's last stand opened about 42 years ago right here in this very location right next to the Northwestern football stadium. This is a fan favorite for an after game snack. Let's head inside and get some lunch. I just got my food. I got a pink lemonade, Chicago style dog, fries, and of course, some nice cheese. Oh, a cheese fry. All of this ran me $8.75. So that's a pretty good deal for a lot of food. So uh, let's try it. Oh 
Oh man. Mmm. So good. The hot dog has a nice snap, nice crisp pickle. Awesome. But it's a Vienna beef hot dog. So it's a classic Chicago. The cheese. It's not your average day nacho cheese sauce. This is sticking Merck's cheddar cheese. Oh man. This stuff is so good. Oh yeah. So good. Yeah, homemade pink lemonade. Homemade. That's, that goes good too. A nice, great meal. I'm gonna go enjoy it. Welcome to Flat Top Grill, a make your own stir fry restaurant. This is where we're going for dinner tonight. So, the first Flat Top Grill opened in 1995 on the north side of Chicago, but it slowly moved out of here in Evanston. It was inspired by the open air fresh market in downtown Chicago. And so that's why they have fresh ingredients every day for you to put in your stir fry bro. So let's head inside and see what it's like. We just got our food, and it looks delicious. Beside me, I got a nice mocktail. So I uh, call it a sun sunrise, something like that. It's delicious. It's got like pear and apple and grapefruit. It's delicious. All over here, we got my stir fry. With, they call this roti bread. Oh man, this stuff. Let's taste it. It's buttery. It's flaky. It's doughy. It's just delicious. So I'm gonna dig in and I'll tell you how it is. Oh man, that's good. It's just fresh, the sauce is delicious, it's nice and warm, noodles are good, rice is good. It all just comes together and fits perfectly together. And that's the nice thing about it. It's a make your own stir fry, so it's your own stir fry. So I'm gonna go back to eating because I can't stop. Good meal so much I couldn't even finish it, so I have leftovers. I got I got late night snack for tonight. So in the end, it was $17 for that meal. A big bowl of stir fry and a delicious drink. I will definitely be suggesting this place to my friends, and I will definitely be back. Another great month for food. We had a great breakfast. We had a nice scone, it was delicious. We went to the Painted Rocks, hung out there, watched the lake for a little bit. We had a great lunch at Mustard's Last Stand, had a great hot dog, cheese fry. And then we went to Flat Top. Oh, make your own stir fry. After all that, we came in under budget. So, Everson was a great experience, and I can't wait to come back. Thanks for tuning in to Budget Bites. Stay tuned for next month. We'll be going to a very windy city. Get my drift. I'm Sam Sobchak, and I'll see you later.